Hi, I'm Lauren. I am from East Hearts Family Centre Service. Hi, I'm Katie and I'm from East Hearts Family Centre Service. And today we're going to be talking about goals and aspirations. And the first topic I'd like to talk about today is the appropriate expectations. So setting yourself appropriate expectations by not setting a goal that's huge throughout the day. It's small little goals that can really have the biggest impact on your day and how you're feeling. So it could be something as simple as waking up in the morning, making your bed, brushing your teeth, having a wash, getting dressed. Simple as that. You know, it can be other bigger, um, you know, um, expectations of, you know, um, cleaning the whole house, mm -hmm. doing the gardening, and then doing the weekly shop, all while the kids are at school. Yeah. And we all have those. You know, we always try and wake up with that mindset, right, I need to do this, I need to do that, I've got to do this, I've got to do that. But realistically, we just need to be mindful of those realistic mm -hmm. expectations that we set ourselves. Because then what happens, I mean, I don't know about you, Lauren, but this happens to me, that if I don't meet these particular yeah. expectations, I'm then quite cross at myself. Yeah. And then, which then feeds into my my well-being um mm -hmm. then that that feeds into me not feeling good enough and yeah. all of those those thoughts and those feelings and that cycle goes round and round mm -hmm. whereas if i'm you know only targeting small expectations for myself throughout that day and i meet them fantastic and there's a lot of pressure on us as parents nowadays we put a, we, we put a lot of pressure on ourselves let alone other people it's that oh, well, um, so-and-so's mum can do that, so-and-so's mum's working full-time and can do this. Well, actually, yeah. we're not yeah. that person. We are ourselves in knowing what is achievable for us because whatever we achieve in a day is amazing yeah, because absolutely. everybody's got their own lives, everyone's got different situations that are going yeah. on at home, different situations for themselves. And actually, it's not about other people, it's about yourself and it's remembering yeah. that because we do yeah. put ourselves a lot of pressure on ourselves, but also on our children. It's having those appropriate expectations of our children as well, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Not expecting yeah. them to do things that actually aren't currently achievable because yeah. if we put expectations on our children that are not unachievable, a bit like what Katie said, we're setting them up for failure, yeah. aren't we? And we're, we're going to impact on their self-esteem. So if one day your little Tommy decided that they they did really well and they got themselves dressed, yeah. um, which is amazing, I bet you gave them lots of praise, um, but the, if the following day they didn't do that, us as parents not having that expectations, well, actually, you've done it once, you should be able to do it again. Yeah. It's just thinking about, okay, what is realistic? And that's yeah. for your children, but also for yeah. us, because that that ability to, to fail and that expectation around failure, it's obviously really can impact on our own yeah, well being. Yeah, and okay. we talk about the power of yet. So when we talk about we can't do something yet, it doesn't mean you'll never do it. It yeah. doesn't mean your child will never do it. Yeah. It just means we can't we can't do that yet. We haven't achieved that yet, but that's something that we might aspire to. It's something yeah. that we might, it might be one of our goals that we're aiming towards. Yeah. And then when we're talking about something we'd like to do or a goal that we'd like to achieve, whether that's as small as getting the washing done, getting your house painted, or yeah. even as a goal as I'd love to get back to work or, I would love to achieve a GCSE in this subject. We talk about smart targets, don't we, yeah. Katie? About yeah. how how we do that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and within our smart targets, we talk about those small achievable things and yeah. and how we how we reach those smart targets. Yeah, yeah. Um, so within those smart targets, it's we talk about short term goals and long term goals. Yeah. Um, example: short term goals. Um, really small things couldn't they yeah yeah it's and it's writing them down as well and, and and going back to those targets that that you may want to achieve you know eating healthy you know ensuring that you're um having more of your five a day throughout the day throughout the week so you might start this goal on monday and you may review this on sunday fantastic have a look through what have you eaten keep a diary write it down again can be really empowering because you're you can visually see what your achievement you're achieving um, and again it's it's just setting yourself those particular goals and those targets that are empowering to you and personal to you and knowing that it's okay for this failure but for, for, for perhaps for it not to work it's not it's not the you know it's not the end of the world mm -hmm. and I know that it can feel that way if, yeah. if, if, if you've had that 
that chocolate bar, that, that big family size bag of crisps all to yourself whilst watching, you know, the, the evening shows, it's okay. Yeah. We'll start again tomorrow. It, you know, it's, it really is being mindful it's of... pressure on yourself again, yeah. isn't it? Of, yeah, of, yeah. That expectation yeah. again. It's yeah. actually... It is, yeah. It, yeah, it's okay to, to sometimes um, not even make a mistake. It's, it's, it's that realistic yeah. expression. We're all human. We all do it. Um, but it's setting those those smart targets and those you might have a short term goal of eating healthily now or again wanting to achieve that GCSE or but a long term goal might be that okay I, I want to succeed in that GCSE but the short term goals might be those small steps in terms Definitely. of okay yeah. where can I get that yeah. what well, first step is might be reaching out okay where can I get that second step right I need to get all my resources together yeah. the third step is right okay I'm going to take each week at a time I need to yeah. attend it attend my courses and then another another goal might be right okay i just need to get all my coursework done and yeah. the long-term goal is to actually achieve yeah. the gcse yeah. but quite often we look too far ahead yeah um and it's brilliant to have goals and they're really important because they motivate us and it's really appropriate appropriate to have those expectations yeah. on ourselves on our, yeah. and on our children because otherwise we wouldn't have that motivation to yeah. do anything would we yeah. but again like you see that is that realistic expectations on what can I achieve and what is what is realistic for us as a yeah. family and yeah. me as an individual yeah definitely um, and sometimes we we might write a list down of what we want to do in a day yeah yeah and sometimes so some people that works really well but yeah. for some people it can set themselves up for failure if the list is <laughs> yeah really yeah, yeah. long yeah and, and I think I, I I've done that before yeah you know I thought right okay especially with work I'm going to do this I'm going to do this I'm going to do this and actually the end of that day for, for whatever reason you know more than half of those um activities I've set myself are not completed mm. gosh I just feel like that day has yeah. been you know I, I, I feel I feel frustrated mm -hmm. I feel upset with myself but I think let's twist that round and let's write down what we have achieved that yeah. day let's write down what we have achieved and how amazing that is because you then have a list that's endless of I've done this I've done that I've, mm -hmm. I, you know this is what I've had for lunch you know I've had lunch today I've made <laughs> yeah. I've made time to have my lunch today um I've, I've had that phone call with my friend I've, I've texted that friend back from you know yesterday so it's it's those again it's those small things to write down and and that visual list of the things that you have achieved yeah. as opposed to what you haven't achieved can really yeah. boost your self-esteem boost don't, your morale we don't actually acknowledge that enough do we no. because when we do set those those bigger targets in the day of I, I want to get the washing done I want to do this or whatever that might be we don't see all the little things we do in the middle of yeah. that like you say yeah. texting the phone back and things like that so yeah. actually yeah. Ha looking at it from an end of a day instead of a beginning of a day is is actually going to really improve yeah. your overall awareness and actually then the uh, then there's no you can't really fail at that point because yeah. you're actually just looking at the positives of what you've got in that day um and again being realistic of what you've achieved yeah. and i think that's a really great way to look at it definitely just focusing on the positives and also that self-praise is so important isn't yes it? yes yeah massively i think it's it's giving yourself that encouragement and saying, you know, well done, I'm pleased I've done that, tap on the back, you know, and, and acknowledging that you've done well, acknowledging that you've that you've achieved those certain aims and, and the goals of the day. So that's really, that, that, that self-praise, self-courage is really, really yeah. important. And we don't praise ourselves enough, especially as parents, because we, we generally put our children first and, and it's really important to praise our children. So, because they're obviously achieving goals daily and, and it's it's almost easier to praise the littler children when they're doing those bigger mile, hitting those bigger yeah. milestones but it's also really important to praise our older children as well because even going to school sometimes is a big thing for children so massive yeah. massive praise where you can for meeting those goals and those expectations um on our children and when we we forget to praise ourselves and it is really important to praise ourselves but also praise everybody in the family for yeah. anything they've done Mum, you've made an amazing dinner. Actually, that makes yeah. you, even just yeah, that makes does, you feel really yeah, nice, it doesn't does. it? It really does. Because um, sometimes we forget that, and it's so important yeah. when we talk about goals and aspirations, um, I suppose, to remember to be realistic. Yeah. Um, to set yourself achievable goals. Yeah. Um, think about your short-term goals. Think about your long-term goals. Think about those smart targets in the middle. How am I going to achieve those? Um whether you write them down or whether you keep them in your head, that's up to yeah. you. But also remembering on the positives, 
Yeah. So like they said, actually focus on the end of the day, what have I achieved more than yeah. what I haven't achieved. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because that will overall overall really help out <coughs> self awareness. Yeah, yeah. And our self esteem. And a self achievement as well, that sense of self achievement. Yeah. And just remembering to praise yourself because we all we don't praise ourselves enough just getting through the day when you've got children yeah. <laughs> is a massive thing, isn't yeah. it? Just yeah. getting through, getting to bedtime. Yes, we've done it today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just remembering to praise. So um, I think we're going to praise you all for listening today. Yes, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for listening. Thank you.